Welcome guys to another part of this tutorial series um, Admin Laravel and uh, in this video I will be showing you um, we will be building the users page so uh, I will be using this template right here uh, in the previous video we installed the admin like 3 so uh, we also in install front of some so if you if you just join us I think you should go back and watch previous video so let's get started. Uh, I've already opened the project in my virtual studio code and I've run PHP Artisan sub. So that's all I've done. And if we come over to our project, uh, and there is a little problem here. And if you click login, uh, it's going to bring uh, this, uh, this interface. Uh, we're not logged in yet, but we only want this interface to uh, show when you're logged in. Uh, we're not logged in yet, and the reason why you're saying this is because if you come over to the register page right here inside, uh, let me just turn this off. Now, if you come to your resource folder, views, then art, um, login page. Now, this login page, we are extending the app, layout.app, blade file. So, if you look at this layout.app, blade file, uh, we've edited it to, to something like this. So, that's why this, the login page is showing this. And so, I'm going to fix that real quick now. And, uh, yeah. So, uh... So if you come to admin light, there is a page right here for login. I think so. Yeah, for login. So we'll be using this page for our login. So uh, what I just need to do is copy this entire page right here. Um, but before that, let's just close it and come here. Uh, we need to duplicate this file. Let's just call it. Uh, Whatever you want, you can call it whatever you want. Let me just call it admin blade. So we'll be using this for the um, for the logged in user, and we'll be using the other for uh, the non authenticated user. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And I'll be removing this file. This so page right here I'll be removing this so if I should already have my virtual studio set to auto save so I don't need to press control S to save it again so if I should refresh this page now so it's gone and we need to apply this to it so if we should copy check this uh so copying this is um a little bit difficult for me so what i do is i come over here and i select the tag i want to copy which is this and i just click copy and after html and i paste it right here in this so i paste it right here and i press ctrl v yeah i think if we should go over now and uh, refresh our page so we have something like this um, it's not actually what we want but yeah we have something like this we want the these things also so uh if i should there is a class here that we need to fix right here we need to fix this and um we actually don't need we actually don't need all this because Laravel is giving us this so all we just have to do is copy this class and copy this okay so we don't need all this because Laravel already give have already provide uh, the form for us so we don't need to bring in new form let's just 
do away with this and in our body in the body uh, let's just follow what was given here so the style is so i just copy and paste this right here now for the class the long log in page just and to give it a class of login and uh, yeah so we remove this class and call it login and there is also a div right here all login box so we're going to create that div say div class and the class will be equal to login box and close this div so let's just put a test here and let's see uh, if we should refresh this. So you can see the text is right in the middle. And uh, so we can now read uh, the section right here. So if we should come over there, should come over here and say read, and we read the section right here. Um, so let's try this out. I'm not getting anything. So uh, let's come over to the login page. See, oh, this content. So let's just hit content. Um, let's try that again. So I have this right here. Uh, it's actually not what I want. But well, I can fix this real quick. Uh, just come over to the login page and change the minimum height on this, that. And uh, come over here. And I don't need, what I actually need is this right here. Let me just do away with all the container and the rest of it. So I should refresh. So I have something like this right now. Uh, this thing not what I want. I want it. I want it to look better than this. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I still have to bring in this. Or, or let's just see. Add. Let's just copy the classes. Uh, Okay, let's just copy everything. Let's just copy everything and see where it goes from there. So, copy HTML. I'm just going to paste this right, right at the top here. Um, let's see that. Yeah, I'm just going to paste that and right here, login box. Uh, remove this. Oh, okay. I can put it and now. Uh, I'm just going to do some uh, this. This right here and now. Uh, I'll remove the login box. Put this right here. These are just it. Each basic HTML codes. Aha. So I have this right. I have this right here so we can do away with this um i don't like the way the code is messy i always love to arrange make sure my work is clean and tidy so i'm just going to do that real quick so um just going to do that you can Pass forward, do whatever you want, but I'm just going to take my time and do this. Um, okay. Okay. This.
Obviously, I don't need the social links. Let me just delete this. Um, I don't need some of this and some of this. So, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm done with that. And if I should refresh, yeah. So I have something like this right here. Uh, this looks good to me. I'm just going to just going to copy this this input uh, form group for the email email uh, email right here form group email. So let's check that out. Uh, still the same. Uh, so uh, we don't need to replace everything. All we just have to do is copy this this line. Control C and uh, paste it right here. Um, the class is form control. Don't forget about that. Refresh this page, and we have the email. So I'm going to have a place so that yeah, this order and say email. And right here, uh, for the error message, I'm going to display some error message too. So I just put that right here. Let's put that right here. And now uh, we do the same thing for the password. Input password. Don't worry about all this HTML code. I'm just I will be I'll paste the HTML code in the GitHub page so you don't need to you don't need to worry yourself about that password. And come over here. Uh, and come over here and copy the password. Uh, paste it right here. So we need the remember me uh, checkbox. And if you should come over here, we have the input for that. Input for this. So, do you remember me? Input. Remember me. And now, um, label. We don't, I don't think we need this right here. Uh, obviously, we need the button. We need the button. The button is just going to be submit, and uh, we need the action route. And we need the C C R S. This. So, um, real quick, yeah. So let's just delete. Uh, all this for now. So if we should refresh now, you see we have this form right here um, at the center. But the uh, remember me checkbox is. If we should refresh. So you see the form right here. This is exactly what we want. But the remember me um, is out of place, um, and this is because um, if you should check the code right there, it's it's inside a row div, and what this actually does is it takes 15 pixels away from the left and takes 15 pixels away from the right. That's what the road does. 
and now uh, I'm just going to fix this real quick. Uh, I'm I'm not going to advise you to use this fix, but I'm just going to do it. It's a very um, quick way to fix this. So I'm just going to say margin margin left. Now give it uh, I'll give it fifteen pieces. And that's what we want. And you can just do 10. You feel the 15 is too much. So 10 and you just copy copy this and come over to your code and say star and paste this. So brief quick fix. Refresh your page. Um let's just give it time to load. It's loading, loading, yeah. So this is fixed right here and now uh, yeah that is just a simple way to fix this. And now uh, I'll be I don't need to remember uh forgot password. So I'm going to remove that and uh yeah I'm going to remove this and uh register. So the last thing I'm going to be doing for this video is I'm just going to say route and uh Sorry, that is a typo. Routes. And I'll say register. So this will take over. This will take us to um, the register page. So I'm just going to say create new account. Uh, yeah. So if we should refresh this. Yeah, we have. The register right here and if we should go back to the register page which I'm guessing will still look like this so in the next video I'll show you how to fix and uh, the register page the same way we did for the login page so bye guys